everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and today I am taking on Daphne Odora. If you've seen any of my past videos, I've probably whined about how I can't keep these alive, but hope springs eternal in the garden, and I'm gonna try it again. This time, I'm going to grow it in a container in really well-drained soil, and that's really the lesson here. If you have any plants that you've, had, you've struggled with keeping alive in your ground, either because it's too wet or you know animals have gotten to it, Growing that plant in a container is a great option. Specifically, plants that have drainage issues. I'm gonna be mixing 50% soil conditioner, which is just ground aged pine bark, with this great product called Permatil. This is like expanded shale. And um, this is a really um, very useful gardening product just because it can create a microclimate because it actually you know, holds heat. It's sharp, so if you put this in the ground, the voles don't like that texture, and they will end up, you know, scurrying off and leaving your plant roots alone. And in this case, I'm using it for its drainage properties. So fingers crossed, this will be my magic uh, approach to keeping this Daphne alive for more than six weeks. But if not, I'll at least get to enjoy the smell right now. So the process for doing this is actually really simple. I'm just gonna load some of this pine bark into the pot, be about a quarter, quarter full. And then I'm gonna do the same with the permatil. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to find permatil online. So for those of you who are outside of North Carolina, I'd recommend asking at your local garden centers to see if they would start carrying this for you. You can see this texture is really uh, quite unique. It's just a wonderful product. And when you mix it in with this pine bark, what you're really creating is just a place where water is going to drain really quickly. So that's going to reduce the risk that you have for any potential of root rot to set in. And that is the enemy of Daphne. All right, so now that I've got that incorporated about halfway full, I'm just gonna put this Daphne right out of this pot. And you see it's not well rooted at all. Like see how that's falling apart. And I hope all this root disturbance doesn't become a problem. You see this original potting soil is just a mix of um, pine bark and sand. I think that the pine bark and the, per and the permatil is actually gonna be a better combo. All right, so I hate that that root ball fell apart because that to me is like sign number one <laughs> that this plant is already on its way out, but with any luck, my my potting soil will will do me will do me well. So now I'm going to add more permatil. I'm going to make this top layer really permatil heavy. I think actually I'm just going to make it like a mulch of permatil. If you can't tell, I almost have like you know anxiety over even trying to grow this plant again. It's because I've, I've, I've killed so many, and it really hurts your feelings. Um, but, you know, that's me telling you, don't give up, but sometimes you just need to learn your lesson. And I swore that I had learned my lesson, but I just couldn't resist. I don't know what it was. I just couldn't resist. So the big picture of things, this isn't a big deal if it dies, but... There it is. There's my attempt at growing a Daphne Odora. For your reference, this white flowered variegated form is Ario Marginata Alba. So I've been thinking about it all week. Where should I put this plant? And the goal here is to get it out of the potential rain line. And I just figured at least while it's flowering, I'm gonna put it here on my front porch so I can enjoy it when I sit out here and um, other people, when they walk past or you know come to the front door, they'll get a nice whiff of this fragrance. So at the very least, it won't be wasted this season. 
And I do have some, some hope. I'm crossing every bit of me that I'll be able to keep this alive for a bit longer. I'd love to be able to ultimately transplant this into a larger container and grow it out for years and years. But we'll just concentrate on keeping it alive for the next couple of weeks and we'll take this in baby steps. But I hope this video will help give you some confidence to grow something that either you've not had success with or that you're not familiar with and just give it a try. And if it dies, you can join the club with me. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Sending you all the best.